everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Earlier this morning, Unified Protect 5.0.33 came to general release and brought a bunch of new improvements and one that's been asked for for a long time, and that is OnVIF. Currently with OnVIF, it only supports 24 seven recording. There is no motion recording, but I believe they are gonna be adding more functionality in the future. So let's jump right in and get an OnVIF camera adopted and look at some of the other improvements. Okay, so we're on the dashboard of my UMVR Pro and you are seeing that we have this camera up top, which is IPC-B0. This is a Rio link camera and it does support OMVIF. And we can see that it's got the IP address 192.168.50.80. If we click to adopt, it's gonna prompt us for a username and password. And this is one thing that I think Ubiquity needs to fix within the Protect controller. A lot of these OMVIF cameras have a password of blank. So this one is admin and then it's blank. But since it's blank, I can't just confirm. It doesn't let me, we have to put a password in. So how do we get around that? Well, we could go to the camera interface and we could change the password. So let's go to 192.168.50.80. So now we're at the interface of that real link camera, which supports OMVIF, and we're gonna type in admin, and then the password is blank. So we're gonna log into this camera. These settings will be different for whatever camera brand you're using, so you may have to Google it, but I'm gonna click on settings, and then we're gonna go over to system. From here, I'm gonna go to user management, and then we're just gonna change the password of the admin, and you can see the old password, which we'd leave blank, and then the new password, which will be test1234, and then we're gonna save that. Now we could go back to our Unify Protect, and then we could add that password in. So I'm gonna put test1234, and then we're gonna press confirm. After we press confirm, you could see that we have this manufacturer IPC. This is the real link OMVIF camera. And the good thing about the OMVIF in Ubiquity or in Unify Protect is that it's completely license free. So you'll never have to pay a license fee. It gives us the same information on the overview, the status connection model, device, FPS, bitrate, and the uptime. But if we click in the recording mode, there's not many options. We have always custom schedule or never, and then we have our recording retention. So we can't set it up for any type of motion alerting or uh, motion recording. Clicking on the settings wheel, we give it a name. I'm gonna call it Real Link. And then we could do tags, which we'll talk about in a minute. We could also share the live stream. So if we wanna share this link with somebody, we could do that. And then we have our notification settings and then we have manage. With manage, we could just remove this outside of Unify Protect. Now for me, OMVIF is really just to assist to bringing new customers into Unify Protect. We are only selling Unify Protect cameras from now on, that's all I do. But if we're going to a new business that has a couple OMVIF cameras and they wanna keep those and then bring a couple Unify Protect cameras, I think this is the perfect way to do it. To get Unify Protect to be able to detect the third party cameras, we need to go over to our settings wheel and then we need to go to system. From system, we could scroll down and we're gonna be able to see discover third party cameras and then it has this little labs icon. The next improvement is the create new tags which just group our devices together. So we'll create a new tag and I'll just call this front of house. We'll select the devices that we have at the front. So my AI Pro, we also have my doorbell. Uh, we have this front door camera. We have this front door chime. If we scroll down a little more, we have the left driveway and then the middle driveway and the right driveway. I'm gonna press save after that. Now this groups all of them together, which makes it a little bit easier. If we go over to our detections, we could also either click all cameras or we could select that new tag that we just created. This next new improvement, a lot of people have been asking for for quite a while. And that's the ability to have multiple doorbells paired to a chime. You'd see I have this white doorbell, which is currently in use, and it's paired with my front door chime. I just added this black doorbell. If we go to the settings wheel, we could scroll down and now we could pair chimes and then we could add. From here, we could click on the front door and then press save. So now when we press either doorbell, it's gonna ring that chime at my front door, which is a great new improvement. Something else that they've added is the ability to archive to Dropbox. So now you can see we have Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, and then we could push it to our own NAS. The last thing that we're gonna talk about in this video is the storage manager. So we'll click on storage manager and it has enhanced retention. So if we hover over the eye icon, it says to use the remaining space efficiently, high quality recordings will be deleted after the specific period. And then we could hit the checkbox. I'm gonna say maybe 15 days 
and this will say recording storage will increase to 35 days approximately. We'll go more into detail about the storage manager when I get my hands on the Enterprise NBR. And that's going to be it for this video on Unify Protect 5.0.33 and it does bring a lot of great new features and the biggest one of course is that OMVIF support. I do love that we could pair multiple doorbells to a single chime and the tagging is pretty cool. I don't know how often I'll use that. Let me know down in the comments below what you think is the best feature of this update. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.